Good morning, lovely friends. Uh, Mabel and I have just got back from our walk, which was absolutely freezing. It was minus six degrees Celsius when we left here, and it was jolly cold, so we went for a quick walk this morning. So I've come back to have a hot cup of coffee. Which mug shall I choose? Oh, this is my favorite mug, I think, of all time. This one was a gift to me from my um, sister-in-law, my big brother's ex-wife actually, but she's just lovely, a lovely, lovely lady. And it was for my 18th birthday. I just have a bit of soy milk. Today is going to be my accounts again. I had a go a week ago and did some, but I really need to do my expenditure, which is the bit I absolutely hate doing. I'm actually dyslexic. Uh, I'm not too bad with letters. I'm really bad with numbers. So I, um, I find it really hard and it, it really does blow my mind doing my accounts. And I have to have peace and quiet and, um, just get on with it really but I absolutely hate it so today I decided to save my advents for a couple of hours time when I can think of it as a treat for actually getting my accounts done <laughs> so we'll see what happens today but I will be back later with my advent treats Okay, have a great day everybody. Oh, by the way, today is the 12th of December and it's a Tuesday. too lazy to get out of my bed to open my advent calendar. Isn't that right, Boo? Oh, lazy bones! You lazy bones! What's in here? Do you want it now? Now I brought it to you. Do you want it? Honestly, she is so lazy today. Don't blame her, it's freezing cold. Okay, let's find number two. Uh, what have you got today? Poor? Mabel? Poor? Poor? <laughs> Poor? Give it to me then. <gasps> Lucky girl. I love her little whiskery nose on my hand. Oh, you're so lucky. And you've got two bickies today. You're not even eating it. What's the problem today, Boo? You normally scoff them. Ah, that's more like it. Is it nice? Is it nice, Boo? It's so cold. I've got so many layers of clothes on. This cardigan is my Celine cardigan and it's so warm and cosy, but I'm still freezing. You want another one, Boo? Is there any more in here? <gasps> What's this? Paw? Mabel Paw? 
You're just so lazy today, I can't believe it. <laughs> Maybe pour? In my hand. Thank you. Yeah, well then, Snuffler. Good night, Boo. Oh, it's so cosy in there. She's next to the radiator as well. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Oh, I've been doing my accounts and for about a couple of hours, I think. And my brain is just about to explode. So I thought I would treat myself with some Advent goodies. First of all, let's open this lovely one from Kate Celine. Do you know, can you believe we're halfway through Advent? I certainly can't. Oh, that's going to look so, oops. <laughs> it's going to look so pretty in my socks. That's lovely. Very nice. Okay, next up is Danielle from Noxion, her advent calendar. What's in here today? Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? It's kind of very seasidey, I think. Stunning. Um, this one is from my lovely Tracy we've been chatting this morning. <laughs> oh golly, that's pretty. Really bright and kind of autumny, pumpkin-y. Very pretty. Okay, and today, oh, let's do my, do my David's tea. Okay. Now, two lovely ladies messaged me from my um, podcast yesterday to say, if you turn the little drawers round after you've taken your tea out, it makes seams. So that's what I've been doing and I had no idea. So thank you so much for telling me that. Okay, number 12. What have we got today to do with a nice cup of cup of tea? Um, oh, that sounds nice. Coffee puer puer. Probably saying that wrong, but it sounds delish. So I'm gonna put the drawer in backwards like this. It's gonna make a little picture. Oh, I wonder if the little picture shows through from it does because there's a little polar bear. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. And today I've got an extra treat because my lovely friend Rhonda and I did a Christmas swap and I sent her my advent calendar and she bought me one from uh, Woolberry Fibre Co. So I'm really excited because I love Bethany's yarn. Let's have a look. Should have opened this a bit before so I could get into it. Hang on. Oh, I shall do it. I won't be defeated. Let's tip it out. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm really into green at the moment. That's gorgeous. And it also came with a lovely full skein of yarn, which I've already opened because I couldn't resist. I've been pretty good, actually. But, yeah, I did open that one. Maybe I'll try and show you that one tomorrow. So that's all my goodies for the 12th of December. Look how gorgeous they are. So lucky, my tea. So now I'm going to go back, have another... I might have a tea. I might try this tea, my coffee pua. And do some more accounts. I'm thinking if I do some accounts till maybe two, and then I might have some knitting whoopee time, because I think I'd have deserved it by then. This is a state of Mabel right now. Oh, I, oh there's her little nose. She's so snug in there. It's so cute. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Hello again. I've had enough of accounts today, so I thought I'd make my cranberry and orange relish, which is here. 
for Christmas Day and I'm going to pop it in the freezer and it's from Delia Smith's Christmas book which I use so much for everything at Christmas. My Christmas cake comes out of this book.
Good morning. Today is Wednesday the 13th of December and to be honest I'm struggling a bit today. Um, I've been forgetting to use my light lamp so that's my plan for today. Mabel and I are on our walk. I don't know if you can see how to spin round because she's in front of me. There she is. Uh, so today consists of, which is probably why I'm feeling a bit low today, more counting. Um, I hope to be able to finish it today, which would be wonderful because I absolutely despise it. And I've set myself a new goal for 2018, which is to keep, oops, raindrop, to keep on top of my accounts and do them every month. And that way I won't have this dreaded thing building up, staring at me. So, uh, fingers crossed, wish me luck that I'm gonna get them done today. I've got, where did it get to? September, October, four months. I don't think it's gonna all happen today. Although it is only expenditure. You don't really wanna hear about this, do you? <laughs> also I have to take my husband to the garage to collect his car that's being mended. Um, and this afternoon I have the hairdressers. So I'll be taking my knitting, which will be lovely. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see Mabel. Oh, I don't know how to do that, now it's running. Uh, I'm gonna go, cause there's a, there's somebody coming. See you in a minute. I'm back. I didn't want to let that man see me talking to my phone. <laughs> a bit embarrassing. Uh, anyway, I kind of think I told you everything I wanted to. Um, there was something else. Oh yes, I'm taking my knitting to the hairdressers and I've turned the heel on Bryony's Christmas socks, which I'm using the pattern from uh, Tabby of Hey Sister, Hey Sister podcast, maybe? Which is called Wonderland Socks, and I'm using really pretty bright Spectrum Fibre yarn. Oh, I'm quite out of breath. So, I'll show you those later when I open my advents. Anyway, I'll say bye for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Hey, boo. Isn't it gorgeous? Hello my lovely friends, well it's still Wednesday the 13th, um, it's a bit later in the day, it's quarter past three and actually I feel much better this afternoon, it's been quite a positive day, guess what, I managed to get my accounts done and I'm so happy, so relieved, I feel like this massive weight has been lifted from my shoulders, it did give me a headache but it's done and oh my goodness, I can breathe again and do some nicer things. Uh, so the accounts have been done. Um, Pete's collected his car from the garage. I've been to the hairdressers and literally just got back. So I thought I would celebrate with opening my advents with you 
and then I'm going to go and make myself a lovely amaretto hot chocolate with a marshmallow. Oh, I've been looking forward to that. It's been getting me through the day. So anyway, let's go and open my advents. So this one here is from Bethany, who is Warberry Fiber Co. I love her packaging, it's very sweet. Oh my goodness. Well, here's the yarn. Beautiful shades of grey. That will actually be a perfect heel and... Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry. <laughs> heel and toe colour for socks. And what are these? I think shoe butter, sunflower and aloe hand cream. Oh, isn't that lovely? Little hand creams and a 10% voucher. Okay, from the lovely, lovely Tracy. Oh, pretty. Looks like green apples. Very pretty. That's definitely going to go in my blanket. I think it needs more green. That's beautiful. And this one? Is that upside down? I don't know. I can't see. I'm at a weird angle. <laughs> oh, these are tricky to open. Oh, straight in after she says that. Oh, look at that one. This one reminds me of licorice all sorts. That'll be brilliant in my scrappy socks. I'm at a funny angle, so it's a bit weird to show. So I hope that shows up okay. I wonder if you can hear the wind outside. It's really windy and rainy. And this is from my... Oh, I said thank you, Bethany, didn't I, when I showed this one. Thank you, Danielle. This is Bethany, Woolberry Fiber Co. Oh, golly, that's pretty. Woolberry Fiber Co. Very pretty. Reminds me of the seaside again, actually. Kind of a beige colour. I don't know how the... The light's showing because I've got the overhead lights on today. It's kind of a beige with blues and a little bit of orange. Super pretty. And I wonder if today's David T is going to top my favourite. My favourite so far has been Alpine Punch. Oh my goodness, I've got one cup of tea. I've been making each pot, little pot, last for three cups of tea. And I've got one cup of tea left in my Alpine punch. So number 13. What are you? Oh, organic cinnamon rooibos chai. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's what it is. Hello, boo. Smells delicious. Also, while I'm here, I just wanted to show you the progress. <laughs> what are you doing licking that? Huh? Yes, Boo. I knew you were here, darling. She's got a funny eye. She's still got a bit of a bad eye, but she's been having drops in them every day. So hopefully it'll be better soon. So here are the socks that I'm making for Briony for Christmas. There we go. I think the colour's a bit weird because of the overhead lighting I've got on. But the yarn is Spectrum Fibre and this is a lovely mini from uh, Beth of Beehive Yarns. And the pattern I'm using is Tabby from Hey Sister Podcast. Her mm, Wonderland, let me get the pattern out. This is a lovely bag my friend Antonella gave me a long time ago. 
It is Wonderland socks. Um, a picture for you. Okay. I'm at a very strange angle. I don't know why I did this. But they're really pretty and they've just got a slip stitch pattern and I love the way the slip stitch pattern goes into the cuff. Thank you, Mabel. That's very helpful. So yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna I'm doing them two at a time, if you can see. Quite tricky to show. And I've turned the heel, so I've just got the, the leg to do. So I should be getting that done in time. Thank you, Missy. Yeah, tink, tinky. I've got my lovely candy cane socks on today. They're so cosy and warm. Lovely. And also, before I go, um, for all of you who bought my advent calendar, thank you, Poppy. Mabel is after my bunny sock blockers. Leave it blue. Oh, she's up to mischief again, isn't she? Anyway, back to the subject. Um, for those of you who bought my advent calendar, you won't get in there. Yesterday's gift was this gorgeous skein of Nora George yarn in the colourway where winter roses grow. And I kept one for myself because I loved it. I love designing this with Tracy and she literally captured what I told her, which was kind of gobbledygook really, but she obviously knows me well, and um, it's so pretty, so, so pretty. And I'm gonna be using mine for my Christmas Eve cast on. I don't know, Mabel, what are you up to, boo? I don't know what socks I'm gonna be casting on yet, but definitely going to be Christmas Eve cast on socks. Isn't it pretty? Well, I'm going to say goodbye and um, I'll see you soon. Bye. morning today is Thursday the 14th of December Mabel and I have already been for our walk which was cold and very very muddy um feeling much more perky today you see my little friend over here and I think today is mostly going to consist of Christmas wrapping and some knitting whoopee I hope um, yeah, so not a bad day and this evening Pete and I are going to a, a lovely carol service um, where my lovely friend Chrissy from Chrissy Crafts and her daughter will be performing so I'm really really excited about that because I've never seen them perform, perform before so that's a real treat. Okay, so I thought I would share my advent openings with you again today. 
Mabel, honestly. Okay, so this is my Kate Celine number 14. This is such a lovely part to every morning. I feel so lucky. It's like, wow, this is like having um, like a little mini Christmas every day. It's so fun. Oh, I love this one. Isn't that pretty? So that's my Kate Celine, and that will be going in my advent socks because I am ready for new colours almost. This one, which I almost opened yesterday, or started to open yesterday, because I thought yesterday was the 14th. So this is my Knox yarn. For some reason, I keep getting mixed up. Yes, hello, Mabel. That's beautiful. Gosh, that's really warm and comforting. So that's my Noxian. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Next up, yes, hello, Boo. Next up is my mini from the lovely Tracy, who is Nora George. Oh, it's so exciting, Boo, isn't it? Oh, a very pretty, sort of kind of warm, beigey grey with some. Mm, mustard yellow, I think, and little speckles. Oh, always going the wrong way, sorry. That's super pretty. And last up for the yarn is my lovely Woolberry Fibre Co. one from the lovely Bethany, which was gifted to me by Wanda, who's Birdie Butterfly. And if you don't follow her, you really should. Oh. Oh, that is, that is the epitome of pretty. Yes, I love that. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I think the light's a bit warm in here, so it's a bit, a little bit less intense than you're seeing it, but it's so pretty. So these are all my minis today. How lucky am I? Mabel, it's not very comfy with you there. I'm going to have to budge over a bit. Thank you. And in my David's Tea Advent, I'm really excited by this one. Come on. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is. It is lemon pound cake. That sounds so good. I'm going to have a sniff. Oh, wow, that smells delicious. Ah, oh, let's make myself a nice coffee. Mabel's heard somebody out of the window. I just noticed how bright the window looks. That's really funny. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you was a lovely lady called Kerry contacted me a while ago and asked me if I would like a copy of one of her books. And she has two books out and I could choose. And I chose this one, which is A Wooliful Christmas. And they're such sweet little books. The book is by Kerry Lucas. And this one has really sweet patterns in. I don't know if you can see very well. I'll show you inside. Look at that little fairy, if I turn it that way. How adorable is that? And there's also a little reindeer. Thank you very much, Kerry, for that. It's really sweet of you. And I will look forward to making something sweet from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna drink my coffee. And I've got a couple of parcels ready to, well, to get ready to go in the post. And then I'm going to be packing and I'm going to put on the Nutcracker soundtrack. And I think listen to some more Christmas music. Okay, have a lovely day everybody. Bye. <laughs>
morning. Today is Thursday the 15th of December. Ten more sleeps. I can't believe it. Um, I've been very busy already this morning trying to get on top of my to-do list. Um, it's going pretty well but first of all I just wanted to say that um, the carol service I went to last night was amazing. I haven't been to a carol service since, I think since Bryony left, um, yeah, since Bryony left school and I'd forgotten how lovely it is to have a good old sing song but the best thing about it was, as I, as I mentioned yesterday, my friend Chrissy from Chrissy Crafts was in it and honestly it's the first time I'd heard her sing she has the voice of an angel and she even did a solo and it literally blew me away in fact I started crying that was rather embarrassing but I was so touched and oh she's amazing absolutely amazing so if you're watching this Christine you are my hero honestly to stand up in front of all those people and sing like an angel is amazing I'm so proud of you it was in a beautiful venue it was at West Dean Gardens which is about mm, 35 40 minutes away from me and um, it was really nice because we saw the I love looking in houses when it's dark near Christmas and you see the Christmas trees and when you kind of spy into other people's houses it looks so warm and cozy I just oh I love that so much so it was oh it was a really magical evening and it was a beautiful venue it was a lovely old house and it was fireplace and a huge Christmas tree and the room was all wood panelled and oh it was amazing I I loved it, I literally loved it. And there was an interlude where we had um, mince pies and mulled wine and mulled apple juice. That was so lovely. And they sang my absolutely most favorite carol, which is Carol of the Bells, and I cried again. I seem to be very emotional at the moment, but good tears, it felt good. So that was really wonderful. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me croaky this morning so today Pete took Mabel for a walk for me which was nice so I could get on with my list basically so I've um, I did my online order my food order ready for next week so that's done just normal standard food shop and then I nipped out to two supermarkets this morning one just basic you know normal everyday supermarket just to get some ingredients that I need for some baking in a little while and I'll talk about that in a minute and the other supermarket I went to was Marks and Spencer's food and if you live in the UK you'll know that's the place to get all the treaty things especially at Christmas so I got some lovely things all our favorites um, I got some nice little treats for the meat eaters and the vegetarians. Actually, you say I'm vegetarian, I'm pescatarian because I do eat fish and prawns. And I got some lovely desserty things and some nice drinks and nibbles. So that was really fun and I spent quite a long time just wandering around in there. It's just not, I, sh I was going to film actually, but I just felt really self-conscious. So I thought I'd show you my, my goodie shop instead when I got home. I bought myself a little plant which I'll try and remember to show you. So in uh, a few minutes after I've recorded this little vlog, got it right, I'm going to be baking some gingerbread puddings. Oops, I don't know if you can see that okay. Gingerbread puddings with ginger wine and brandy sauce and um mostly these are for George if I always say to George what would you what do you need for Christmas you know there's always those certain um, 
kind of things that make Christmas and for him it's always these gingerbread puddings. They're a bit of a faff because there are quite a lot of ingredients but they are so delicious. So what I'm going to do, it says it makes eight, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them and freeze them individually and I'm going to make the sauce and I think I'm going to put the sauce in an ice cube tray or something similar so that you can take one pudding out and one sauce cube and then microwave it so I'm thinking that might be a good way to go so that's my plan I'm also going to make some brandy butter from Nigella's recipe that has ground almonds in and that's my favorite brandy butter so that's what I'm going to be doing in a few minutes um, so I thought I'd share my advents as usual can't have vlogmas without advents okay so first up we have oh now let's do let's do this one first for a change we have um tracy nora george oh that's i feel like she had me in mind when she died that <laughs> oh that's beautiful that's so pretty it's, it's lighter actually than it's showing up. I've got weird lighting today. So that's from Tracy. This is from Danielle. Not Sian. <clears throat> oh, with extra surprises in Danielle's. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Now, that might, I think, go in my Land of Sweets cowl, I think. Also got some chamomile tea. Get the, the lenses that side. And some rooibos tea. Tup chai, rooibos chai. That's nice. Okay, Kate Celine. I've been waiting for this because I really need some more yarn for my socks. I could start the next sock, really. Yeah, I should do that. I'm hoping to get my job done today so I can have some knitting with you later. Oh, I think this is my favourite yet from Kate Celine. Oops. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a chopped up candy cane, I'd say. Hello, you can see you. And, oh, I still have another one. This one is from oops, Bethany at Woolberry Fibre Company. So exciting. Oh, that's pretty. Do you know, I never not like one. They're just all so beautiful. And they're all made by lovely friends, which makes them special. That's beautiful. It's kind of duck egg with little bits of brown teal oh, oops. that's lovely and my tea today sounds really exciting okay I don't think it's gonna focus but it's raspberry cream pie so that sounds so good my favorite still has to be alpine punch though as lovely as the others are alpine punch is oh, nice I had the most lovely package delivered to me yesterday from the lovely Julie of Sweet Sparrow Yarns and um, we did a swap and this is my swap package. I also ordered a yarn which oh, is lovely. Let me move these bits and bobs so I can show you. Oh, that is so pretty. It's a little bit not so intense in real life and it's called a peppermint mocha and this brown has to be the loveliest brown I've ever seen so that's one I purchased from her shop but you won't believe what she sent me I told you you won't believe it it's so amazing I, I can't believe she's so generous I was blown away this one is called actually I don't know what this is called I can't quite read it so I'll just show you oh 
I mean, how delicate and pretty is that? And I just love her labels. Just super, super pretty. And then there's this one, which is Snowberry. Oh. Is Snowberry a real thing? Do you get Snowberries in the US? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Oh, gone off camera. <laughs> And this one is Blackberry Moose. I feel like that Julie knows me pretty well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is on her gosling. I think they're all on her gosling actually. Yeah, all on her gosling base, apart from this one which is on her sparkling magpie base. You can see the sparkles. Oh, look at that, sparkling beautifully. Not only did she send me all that gorgeousness, she also sent me a bag. Look, it's got little birds and bird cages on and they're in gold sparkle. So pretty with a lovely soft peach bottom. It's beautiful and a little, little key. And inside the bag, it's the sweetest little notebook with a bear and inside the notebook is a vintage postcard isn't that gorgeous with violets oh it's so sweet and so thoughtful as well she also sent me gorgeous little notelets I love Moomins. I used to love watching the Moomins when I was young. A lovely tinted Burt's Bees lip balm. I love Burt's Bees. The sweetest, teeniest, oh, nearly dropped it. The sweetest and teeniest little pin with sweet sparrow on it. <laughs> so cute. Some Stash Cinnamon Vanilla Tea. I've never tried this, so that's really exciting. I think I might make myself one in a minute. And this lovely little book, Cinderella. We both share a love for children's story books. I sent her one in our swap. I sent her, it was one of the Bramley Hedge ones, which is so cute. And she said she had this one and loved it. And it would be so lovely if we both had one. It's so cute. I've got a little story in. I love little books. So thank you, Julie. Honestly, I was blown away. And again, you made me cry too. I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, I'll do a little bit of filming throughout the day. And I'm hoping to upload this next section. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you.